Hello, I have an addition to my CD collection to show you. And this particular artist is probably the artist that's been around longer than any other artist in my music collection. I was a mere infant when a po good portion of their hit songs were hits. The songs that they're known for. I was very, very young. Early 70s era. 1970s when these songs were brand new taking the world by storm and this is a very unique artist given the distinction of starting their own new genre that being shock rock and the, the name that this artist goes by started off as the name of the band, but now it's the name of the solo artist. And I think his illegally changed his name to the name to this name, but even if he hasn't, ninety nine point nine percent of the world know him by this this name anyway. Of course, I'm talking about Alice Cooper, and I picked up his latest release, Detroit Story. This particular edition has the album with it. And the second disc in the Digipack is a DVD of a concert on his previous a Paranormal Evening with Alice Cooper tour. I could be wrong, but I'm sure that this DVD is of this same concert that this was recorded at in Paris, France. I don't know if I show him this on my channel before but this is a two cd set of the show in paris now i'll be very interested to watch this video because <laughs> yeah um to see the show and to see a certain person in the show besides alice cooper uh guitarist nita strauss who um is a very good guitarist and I must add, it's easy on the eyes. And uh, I was a little disappointed when I saw Alice Cooper on the this tour. When I came by my area, Nita Strauss wasn't performing that night. And that kind of disappointed me. So hopefully I'll get to see her at some point in time for her great guitar work and her great looks. But anyway, um, on to this. This, this album is very interesting to me in a couple of respects. One, the name of it being Detroit Stories. Uh, my dad's from, side of the family is from Michigan. And in my youth, I spent many a year living in Michigan, and part of it was in the Detroit area. This was recorded in the Detroit suburb of Royal Oak, which I'm very familiar with. So that was a draw to buy the album, besides the fact I do like Alice Cooper. Um, I even like some of the stuff Alice has done later in his career that a lot of people aren't fond of. But anyway, this is a that's a different topic for another day. Uh, this here's the book. I don't even know if I'm holding it right side up, but I couldn't care less right now. Lyrics, credits, maybe a photo or two in it. I'll be very interested to take, take a look, see at this booklet, and see what I can read with my messed up eyesight. I might not be able to read a lot. Now on to the contents of this mess, of it, of this. <laughs> my gosh, I cannot talk today. But anyway, on to the contents of the album. I Amazon gave me a free digital copy of this when I ordered this yesterday, and I've listened to a couple of tracks on it. The three tracks I listened to were the lead track called Rock and Roll, the track called Detroit City 2021, and the track Shut Up and Rock. The first track I want to talk about is the track Shut Up and Rock. Instantly, I, I, lo I love this song. Instantly, I love this song. Because it's the type of song that if I were a songwriter, I would want to write nowadays. 
basically telling musicians, it's geared towards musicians, but, you know, celebrities in general, to get off their political high horse because nobody really cares. They just want them to shut up and rock, shut up and play the game, shut up and do the do whatever they're known to do and keep their opinions to themselves and not let it seep into their particular craft, be it music, sports, whatever. And Al is pretty much expressed my feelings about that in that song so that song instantly gets a 10 out of 10 rating for me and uh the next track i want to talk about is detroit city 2021 it's not a direct cover of detroit rock city by kiss but it's but it's very similar um it talks you know it talks about different parts of Detroit to, you know, talks about the sports team, you know, talks about Detroit, certain parts of the town, certain, the sports, te- excuse me, sports teams, what have you. Good track. Oh, uh, the rock and roll is a basic good rock and roll track, you know, say. She was seduced by rock and roll, you know, that type of thing. So I really in- anticipate listening to the rest of this. Um, I've heard people like Physical Format Rock and Roll Channel, he reviewed this, gave this a very positive review, and I'll agree with the, with the things I've listened to, I'll agree with the one point he made, is this, this, I'll probably end up liking this better than I liked the predecessor Paranormal. Um, I do like Paranormal. That took a lot of time to get grow on me because like this one, that one has his 70s, his 70s influence, the type of thing he did in the 70s. It's, it's very evident in that album and in this one and in some of his previous ones, which I don't have. Um... But anyway, I'll stop rambling and uh, listen to some Alice Cooper. Everybody enjoy the what rest of your weekend. I'll talk to you guys again towards the beginning of this coming week. I'm going to be getting a piece of vinyl in that I'm highly anticipating. And I'll show you and talk to you about that in my next video and maybe uh, I can talk coherently in that video but anyway till then enjoy the music